Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So today we're going to show you how to rebuild your transmission in the WL Toys L959 buggy. This is going to be the same um, transmission, exactly the same as what's in the L969. Uh, the L202 is going to be the same, except it has a brushless motor, but no difference. Um, your Lighthawk Brute and your Lighthawk Blast, and probably a couple more up there too. Anyway, so, but those are the main ones that we're concentrating on and for this transmission. So once you've removed your transmission, I've already got mine out. You're going to want to, of course, crack it apart. Now, I've already had this apart once already. I've been waiting for my parts to show up. They finally got in, um, and uh, so now it's time to rebuild this tranny, and then I've got a second one I'm actually going to put together as a, a swap and go. So I ordered uh, actually a bunch of these extra spur gears. Um, you get a package of two gears, we'll talk about that in a minute. Now what happens uh, if you use your remote control as your brakes? Um, and you brake too hard, um, you know, to stop your vehicle, uh, you can damage the gears over time, you know, I mean, it takes a while, but you can. Um, you're doing a lot of spin outs and slam it into reverse and do reverse burns. That's definitely going to tear your gears out. Uh, but one of the things that had happened with this one um, that caused it was not so much all that stuff, because I'm pretty, you know, easy on my stuff to a degree. Um, but the main thing I found that was happening was my brass pinion on my motor had come loose and of course it's, you know, going forwards and backwards across that gear like a saw and it actually ended up basically sawing the gear. Um, so it was pretty mashed up. So anyways, get your, your side cover off, pull your diff out of the way in the old bug buggered gear, um, pops right out. Now, you're going to find there's some factory grease in here. You're going to have to clean all that stuff out really well. You know, your pin might be on the other side, so make sure your pin is actually sitting here. Now, for putting this thing back together, um, you're going to need, of course, your screwdriver. You're also going to need some paper towel or uh, Kleenex. Uh, so I actually forgot something. Be right back. Okay, so once you get all the grease cleaned out and any sand that's in there, uh, you're going to want to take a, an air compressor if you've got one. If not, just keep cleaning until everything's really nice and clean inside and there's no dirt or anything left behind. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put some grease on the inside uh, of the ring on each, each side of the cap just to help keep things uh, Seal to keep a lot of sand out. Now your differential gear, inspect it carefully. Make sure there's no damage on any of the teeth. And if there isn't, then you won't need the one gear. Okay, because what it is, is that it's a top differential gear that comes with this kit. So you may or may not need it. I don't. So in we go again. Now on the top side is where I'm going to lube the top of my differential instead of doing it at the cap end. And then this is going to create the seal there. Next thing we need of course is our new spare gear. Now just because you may not need to replace this gear right away, don't disregard it. Don't throw it out because you may end up doing damage to it yet. So always keep it as a spare. And because these are plastic gears um, and they are going to have the odd time where they're going to be replaced, order a bunch of spares. Especially if you intend on keeping this toy for a while, order a bunch of these spare um, spur gear kits because they're definitely going to be handy for you. Now you're going to want to grease your spur gear as well uh, on the underside because that's going to be going up against the main differential. Oh. 
so you gotta put it in. This is not going together right. Oh, yeah, it goes. There we go. Alright, that's all set in properly. So, now as far as your heights go, I'm noticing that my gear is sitting a little low, so I'm going to actually have to adjust the height up on my on my brass pinion gear here, because I haven't messed with it since I tightened it up. And uh, without having the new gear in, I wouldn't have known, because my other gear, like I said, was, was really shredded bad. So, we're going to need an Allen key in order to get at that. here. Now they don't give you any tools, so you have to buy some of your own tools like Allen keys. Okay, so holding everything down firmly in place, make sure that sits just even, snug it up a little bit, and then that looks good. So now, I'm going to just go to the other side of the Allen key. because you're going to want to make sure that it's really tight. All right, that should be tight enough. That's sitting level. And we're level underneath. Now, we're going to just get some grease going in here along the gears. And you're going to want to put some grease underneath the diff area because this is for catching sand and stuff that gets inside so that it doesn't get at your gears. The sand will actually get caught up in the grease, but it also helps keep things lubricated so that it reduces the heat because you got brass going against plastic and plastic against plastic. So you want to try and have as you know little heat build up as possible uh, while the engine's running. So don't be afraid to use some grease, you know, li quite liberally. You know, don't skimp on it. Okay. Now we also have the other side of the gearbox here that's got to have to go back on. So we're going to want to put some grease and run it around the bottom area, like that, around the edge. And we already got it sitting on the top of the bearing, so we don't have to worry about it there. And you got a bunch of grease in there like that. So now, we'll just press it all back together. And you'll see a bit of grease oozing out the sides. That's good. Means everything's good and sealed there. Now when you tighten these back down, tighten them down until they stop on their own. A little bit of snugness there, just snug it up a little. Don't over tighten because you will split the shaft inside that the screw threads into. So you don't want to over tighten.
Okay, and that's pretty much stocked, bottomed out, and about a half to three quarter turn past just snug. And that should be all that you need to keep it together. So got one left. There we go. And that is how you rebuild your transmission in these machines. Pretty simple, easy. Now, sometimes you'll have to take the motor out of the mount, clean sand out of there, etc. Um, you know, just make sure everything is really super, super clean. And when you put the new gear in, make sure that the height is balanced against the brass pinion so that it sits even top and bottom. And make sure it's that Allen screw for setting it goes on there really nice and tight. So otherwise, you're going to get that floppy thing going back and forth and you know, you're going to shred a gear. Um, but uh, now the grease I'm using is General Automotive grease. It's, it's like a clearish type color. Um, it actually came with this gun. And uh, it's also designed for use with, you know, some marine applications as well. Um, so it's a bit of a thick grease. But because you've got friction going on from running, uh, your transmission you need to keep things as cooled down as possible and this grease is not going to allow for a lot of heat up to happen um, as long as you got enough of it jammed in there that you know it'll stay flowing around the gears and uh, you shouldn't melt your gears you know so if anything you're going to strip gears you know if you uh, start slamming on the brakes too hard or you know you're going full speed forward and slam it in reverse to do reverse burnouts. They're plastic gears they're going to give. You know, so you got to be a little nicer with plastic gears. But like I said, if you don't need this gear, I didn't. Uh, so if you don't need it, just make sure you keep it. Because eventually this gear is going to break down or, you know, it's just going to plan out wear out. So, you know, and this goes on to your differential itself. And, uh, you know, so keep that handy. You never know. You're going to get a big collection of them going because each one of these kits, they each come with the two gears. So even if you're ordering from Lighthawk uh, for your um, brood or your blast, it's the same gear set. You're getting the same two gears, you know, so, but it's mostly this one that you're going to have issues with, even though you, you do have to buy them both because they recommend, you know, always changing the two of them anyway, but you know, inspect the gear for yourself, and if it looks fine, then you know what? Don't worry about it. You know, just uh, change what you need to change and keep the spare parts when you do need them. So, I also got my new servo in today too, so that's all back together. And So our next thing to do is to reinstall the transmission into the buggy, and away we go. So, how you took your transmission out of your, your Brood or your Blast or your L959, 69, etc., how you took it out, process of putting back in is just reverse of how you took it out. That's all. Piece of cake. So, um, anyways, if you have any other questions, you know, comments, feel free to leave them. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.